Welcome back everyone. It was a very busy night in northern Iowa. Uh, we had a lot of rain, several inches falling around the Highway 20 and Highway 30 corridors. Things beginning to quiet down here in central Iowa this morning. Uh, let's start up north here. If you're north of Highway 20, actually for the most part, you're dry for the time being, including in Mason City. But uh, from Waterloo through Iowa Falls, still some lingering light to moderate showers. Uh, weak thunderstorm in northern Story County. And thankfully for your folks in Fort Dodge, you are finally drying out after about four inches fell in your area last night last night uh, through this morning. Uh, farther south again, Jasper County, some lingering showers. Same for Powashi County for the rest of us. Not a lot of rain expected, at least as we head out the door this morning, but this cold front is going to drift into southern Iowa later on today, and that will help spark another round of thunderstorms late this afternoon and especially this evening and overnight tonight. The latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center has southeast Iowa with the best chance for some severe weather late today through tonight. I honestly think we should extend that for folks around Creston and Lamoni. Uh, you do have a decent chance for some severe storms, and we'll show you that here in a second. For, for this morning, again, the rain and thunderstorms clear to the east. Most of us are dry by the mid to late morning and the early afternoon. Actually, I think most of this afternoon will end up being pretty dry for us. But this evening, here's that next round of storms. This is where the severe weather could happen. So be on the lookout in Creston, Osceola, Lamoni, maybe even Des Moines if it moves far enough north. We'll continue to see some scattered showers and storms overnight through tomorrow morning. Maybe some lingering up north through the day on Tuesday. But things should, in general, be a little bit sunnier and drier by tomorrow afternoon. Rain totals down south, I think, will be close to an inch in a few spots. So that's great news from Lamoni through Centerville, where you're under severe drought. And yes, you could pick up a little bit more rain up north tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. In Des Moines, 88 degrees. Storms possible late today through tonight. 68 degrees, the overnight low. Just a 20% chance for some more rain on Tuesday. And really, the rest of the week looking pretty quiet and pretty warm. Not quite as hot as it was this weekend. We climbed 96 yesterday in Des Moines. Uh, nothing like that in our forecast, but day one of the state fair could be pretty hot with a high of 92 degrees and we'll stay put in the upper 80s for the tail end of the week.